Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In the previous demo in this series, we created a bunch of subsites. We are working on this scenario here, the um, small company intranet that uh, we, I started using all the way back in 2013, and now I'm going to do it with PowerShell. So we learned how to create subsites. We created three subsites for the sale, production, and support. Now we're going to make sure that they have a common navigation, and there should also be a link to the peddling.com, which should open in a new window. All right, so let's do all that. So let's start with a common navigation. So let's see that here. We will switch over to PowerShell. And well, actually, we'll switch over here to the SharePoint site because, as you see, we now have three subsites and they are all of the communication. Those type of sites do not have a top navigation, they only have a, what's called a quick launch. So, we're going to have to add the links there if we want to have a common navigation. So, let's do that. First of all, in the script, we are going to just clear up and start from scratch. Actually, we don't have to do that. We can just comment out this new PMP web because that's already been done. So let's do the next step is to work with navigation. So let's search for navigation here. There we go, add PMP navigation. No, that's exactly what we want to do. So the um, location here is an enumeration. Great, so we'll get some IntelliSense from that. The title is easy and the connection we have that, so that's fine. So first of all, we just want to add the links. Now, when we're creating the subsites, we want to add those links in the top site. That's where we are, right? That's the, con uh, the connection where we have. So there we want to add a PMP navigation node, and it's going to be the location. It's going to be, there we go, the quick launch. That's where we want it. And we want the title to be the current department there. And then we want the URL. We want that to be the whole URL that we have there. So let's do that one. Copy that. The, all right, we don't have to copy the whole thing. We can take the variable. That's what I meant to do there. And then plus a forward slash and then the name of the department. That's going to be the target URL that the link will go to. So we put that all in a parentheses. It's always better. There we go. And another plus. There we go. So that should be it for that link. So let's just run this now and see how that works. Yep, that seems to be working. So let's put some comments in here just to make sure. Create the subsite. That's always good. That's what we did first. And then add the navigation to the top site. All right, so those are the two steps we've done so far. Let's just check that it worked. Go back to the page here, and we should now have three more links, the sales, production, and support on the top site, navigation. But if we go into the sales department, for example, here, that site, you see it does not have any kind of shared navigation at all. And I can't get back to the HQ site either, except for doing that. So now we need to connect to each of these subsites and make sure that they have a proper navigation. So let's do that. First of all, now we're going to do that after this loop. We're going to loop the departments again. Let's just copy that for loop. And then we're going to do cur web. Just going to build a URL to the current department site that we're working on. So that's going to be the URL. Well, actually, it's going to be this one exactly. This is the URL, right? So let's just copy that bit there. There, the cur web. Uh, let's just do cur web URL just to make sure that we're what we're talking about here. URL, right? So that's the URL, and that's the one we want to connect to. So now we want to connect to another site. So then we're going to use this command here: connect PMP online, and just connect to that web URL. And then we're going to loop the departments again inside that. So let's do another loop here. For each again. Now let's do the uh, sub there because we're in a sub loop uh, in departments again. Just make sure that we're not mixing up the objects there. For each, spell that correctly. And now we're going to add the navigation nodes the same kind of way. 
So let's do that for all of them. There. The title is the current depth sub. That's the one we're working on, of course. And the URL is going to be the depth sub, right? And we want to do that for all the other ones except the current one. Right? So we want to only want to do that if the depth sub is not equal to the depth. So if the department is sales, then we don't want to have a link to sales itself, right? So we're going to be looping through these. So sales, the first time the depth is going to be sales. And then we're going to loop again, so it's going to be sales. So that, therefore, we do not want to add a navigation node in that loop. So we're going to do an if statement there. And if depth not equals to depth sub, then we want to add the, the navigation link. That should be it. And then in each of the subsites also, we want to add a link to the root site. So we're going to do the HQ site, so to speak. So let's just do that also. And let's copy this whole thing again. And then we do the title is going to be HQ. And the URL is just going to be the regular URL, which is the site I'm working in. All right. That's got a little bit complicated, but I hope you bore with me. So let's try this out now and run it. So I select that and run the selection. There we go. Now it's adding links here. Seems to be working just fine. Let's see it. Let's try it. With, let's go into the sales site. And there we should have a link to the production and the support and the HQ. Working perfectly. Let's go to the support site. We are in the support site. We have links to sales and production and HQ. Perfect. It's working as intended. Let's uh, do the final step here. Let's go into that and you'll see we also want a link to the peddling.com which should be in a new window all right let's do that also um, that should be a final one so another one the location is going to be on quick launch the title is going to be peddling and the url is going to be https peddling.com that's fine that's enough and that's going to be an external one it's going to open in a new window so that's important too. Now we are going to loop through all of this. And of course, we don't want to double down on everything. So let's start by clearing out everything again. Now we can remove everything. And now we can run the whole thing again. I think that's one of the beautiful things with PowerShell, that you can, with coding things, that you can just start over and see everything building up so you can test your code properly. Let's see the site contents there. If it has any subsites? Yes, it's they're still there, so that did not work as intended. Ah, the problem is the reason it's not doing that now is that we're connected to the subsite. Remember, we connected to the, the subsite here, so we, we need to connect to the main site before we can remove the subsites, of course. There we go. Now I'm connected to the main site. Now I can go in and remove all the subsites. Let's try it again there. And refresh. And it's clear. And the navigation is cleared also. So that's what I meant, of course. So let's run that again now. Now we're going to go through everything again. We're going to loop through the departments. We're going to create the subsites. And now, of course, this row should not be commented out because we're going to actually create the PMP web there. Create the PMP web, add the navigation nodes and then add all the navigations in each of the subsites, including the pedaling. So let's try this. Now uh, things are going on. Should have added some progress information there also, but yeah, now it seems to be working. There we have the production sales support. There we have the link. So let's go into production. And then we have the sales. We are in production. We have sales, support, HQ, and peddling. Let's see if that opens up in a new window, and it does, or a new tab at least. That's fine. All right, so we are good to go. We've done everything. The only thing remaining is that we need to get back to the root site and put a link there also. So let's do that after here, and just connect to the main site again. 
let's comment that so we make sure that uh, it's understandable. Connect back to the root site. And then we add that same link there. All right, let's do those two lines also. And now we're in the PowerShell site and there should be a pedaling link there also. Great, there is, and that's working. So now we are done with the navigation. Let's see, as the departments collaborate a lot over boundaries, the whole internet should share a common navigation. It does. There should also be a link to pedaling. So that part is done. Good. That concludes this demo. Welcome to the next one. Thank you for watching.